Hey guys, so I've got a couple cool things to show you today. The first is ESCconfigurator.com. This is a website that allows you to manage your ESCs directly from your web browser. And the second is the BlueJ ESC firmware, newly updated, and it allows you to play tunes right from your ESCs, especially on these little quads. Let me show you. So that was the Super Mario Brothers theme. And if you want to learn how to do that and many more themes, I'm going to show you how to get this firmware on your little whoop, on any of your quads. But I'm going to tell you right off the bat that the process for me to get this firmware on the Mobula 6 in particular was not easy. And in fact, I became quite upset because I thought I could have possibly bricked my ESC. Updating ESC failure across the board. No changes. Not updating the ESC. Now, that's really funny because I actually, I literally can't change this so what am i supposed to do and all of that is left in so that you could learn from it and maybe someone else who might be having trouble with this esc firmware or even the esc configurator website might be able to learn from my experience and see what went wrong what went right and the end result and all of it has been chapterized it's down in the video description below come along with me for the adventure and see how it went so here we are at ESCconfigurator.com. This is what's going to allow the magic to happen with the music, and it gets you pretty easy access to Blue Jay's BLLES firmware. Now, I have to stress, this is an experimental web app and even says it right there to be careful. You could run into unexpected bugs or issues when flashing, and just things might not work right. So use caution when flashing firmware from here. Uh, flashing ESCs, there's always a risk in doing so, and you might end up having to get yourself out of a technical ball of wax. So if that's not something that you're comfortable with the risk of doing, don't do it, and just watch me do it here. Um, that's just my little disclaimer. And also, take your props off. Uh, I'm not going to take my props off. I'm going to break the rules and leave my props on because this is a little whoop and I just want to be able to immediately get testing. But if, especially if you have a larger model, take your props off. You're supposed to take them off when you're testing your ESCs. But I'm, I'm just going to leave them on because it's just a little whoop here. All right, so we're going to take a fully charged and make sure it's fully charged, a fully charged battery and plug it in. And now we've got the intro here. Uh, it's actually showing me the battery, so I can see that I've got a battery that's charged. We've also got a nice little motor testing option here. I'm going to go ahead to the corner and click on Read Setup. And now we've, we've fully read in our electronic speed controller here. Let's go ahead and take a note of what it says over here in the common parameters section. It's a good idea to either literally take a screenshot of this or even write it down, whatever's easier for you. Take a picture of it with your phone. Just let's note all this information here. We're gonna go to flash all. This is this is pretty simple. Um, we wanna pick Blue Jay. Now automatically the ESC for this Mobula 6 drone is being picked up here as OH5. If yours isn't automatically picked up, you might wanna just stop because that would mean that something's wrong and it's not being detected. Uh, but since mine is being picked up, I'm going to go ahead and trust what it says here because that I know that the, I know that on my Mobile 6, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the latest version, 0 0.12. PWM frequency, I have been running JESC 48 kilohertz. And that's what I'm going to continue to choose to run uh, for this flash of the firmware. I'm going to stick with 48 kilohertz because that's what I've been using and I've been pretty happy with it on this model. Okay, so I've got my fully charged battery because we don't want power to go out while this is being done. Nothing else is going on, on my computer. And I'm going to hit flash. And we're just going to sit and wait here until this is done. And as you can see, it goes through each ESC and it's relatively quick. Now the third ESC is done. Using a laptop might be a good idea compared to a desktop where you have a battery. Uh, that way, in case you do lose power and your desktop isn't battery backed, it won't turn off. Just a thought that I have while we're flashing this ESC here. And we're done. Okay, so now that it's been flashed, I actually want to make sure that it still flies before I go screwing around with anything. 
Oh! Look at that. Alright, so I actually have a problem here. I have two rear motors that are not spinning after flashing this firmware. So, not too happy about that. I hope that nothing happened here. Okay, that one's working. Motor two, two. That motor's working. The front motor's working. Motor number one is not working. Okay, so yeah, so I've got one motor out at the moment for some reason. Don't know why. And so it's not working on the motor test. All right, so one thing I noticed looking at what I had saved is that the minimum startup power or the boost was only set to a thousand on the original. And I don't know if maybe that's cause for a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to a thousand and just write in the setup. Uh, DMAG compensation and RPM. See, this is kind of weird because RPM wasn't even really listed, so I don't know if there's some kind of ramp up protection here that's causing this to go, but I'll, I'll match the minimum boost and we'll go from there. Nope, that third motor is still not spinning. Okay, so we still have a problem here. What else can we change here? So I'll put that back at what they thought would be the default. Maybe, maybe we'll change it to 1,050. Nope, we still don't have any motors spinning, sadly. I'm going to inch toward the less protection for RPM power ramp up. Maybe there's something that is stopping it from ramping up here. And this is a pretty drastic change to make, but we'll be careful. We'll slowly try to increase it after changing this because I'm a little less comfortable messing with that. No, still didn't correct the problem. We still have one motor that's not spinning. All right, so I'm going to take the minimum startup power boost and the maximum startup power boost and try changing those to see if that makes a difference. Okay, so we actually got somewhere. By lowering it, it actually killed all the motors. All the motors stopped. All the motors stopped. So here's what I think we should do. We're going to try to raise the startup power and the boost gradually until we can get somewhere with this. 1080 and then we'll increase this to I uh, can't do 1025 so I'll just do that a little bit just a little bit different try to write to the ESCs wow it does not like me changing that too much it seems it's reading all the ESCs in okay wow okay so it totally failed it totally conked out and now I have no way of changing anything on those. I wonder if I can even flash them anymore. Updating ESC failure across the board. No changes, not updating the ESC. Now that's really funny because I actually, I literally can't change this. So what am I supposed to do? I guess I can click restore default settings. Updating ESC, okay. So we've got the settings back to default. So that did seem to fix it. I'm going to put... Actually, let me just try using the default settings that they have set here. I know they don't match what we came from, but let's just give them a shot. Nope. Still not. It's still not doing it. I'm two motors out. I'm going to try raising the maximum startup power protection to 1,200. And see if it takes it. Okay, it actually did take that. And I'll try raising this to 1,100. I wanted to do that a while ago, but it didn't want to take it. Let's see if it takes it. All right, it actually took it this time. We wanted to do that before, and it didn't take it. So now it took it. Let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, my God. That did it. That, that worked. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that worked. All the motors are spinning now. So what's the lowest that it can be? It says 1,050 work. Let me try changing it to 1,100. And we'll know that if we change it to 1,100 and it still doesn't 
do it. If it still doesn't do it, then we know that that was the problem. That was it. That's the number. That's what did it. Because... Because now I have motors that are not spinning. As soon as I lowered the maximum startup power protection to 1,100, it got messed up. So let's try 1,100. Well, it won't let me do it up to 52. So let's try that. We'll write the setup in. All right, it's trying. It's trying to start up, but it can't. So let's go and read the setup again. And we'll just go to 1,176. I wanted to do 75, but this slider only lets me go up to that. Five allows these motors to spin up correctly for startup. So I guess the big question, though, is does it fly? Can it actually take off? Can I fly it around the room? Yes, it will fly. I have it I have it hovering, so it works. I got it to work again. This is going from one completely different ESC firmware to another, and the online tool maybe just didn't know that this it was gonna need some different settings to fire up on Blue Jay. So there you go. That's how if you have this problem with the Mobile 6 specifically, that is how you fix it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into the music part because that's really part of why I flashed this is so we could try to get some tunes on this thing. You do want to increase your beep strength before you put music on here. That way you have it a little louder. Now to get some music, we got multiple different options here. They're, they have this melody editor and this is where you're going to be pasting in your music. Now they do have a few preset melodies here. I'm going to go ahead and pick the blue theme. And this is just built right into here. You could flash this and use this right now. Okay, so the way this works, for those of you that don't know this, uh, the motors get little electric pulses sent to them, and that's basically what creates the music. And each of the electronic speed controllers here has a little code that tells it what to do during the startup. And different parts of the song are spread across the different motors. And then all the notes come together and then it actually sounds like the song. So I'm gonna click accept for the notes for ESC number one, number two, number three, and this one. And we're gonna click write melodies. And this is for the blue song by Eiffel 65. Now it's already configured. And next time I start it up, it should play the blue song. And there you go, it worked. Now it's gonna be really hard to hear this when you're outdoors. Uh, it's, it's not very loud. In fact, it probably sounds much louder with it held up to my microphone there for you guys, but it does work. Now you're not limited to this drop down of songs that are in the melody editor. The place to get songs, there's two great places to get songs. You can get them from esctunes.com. This is a great resource to find tunes. And we're going to pull a tune from this website right here. So I'm going to try putting this Super Mario Brothers theme on here. I'm going to paste the Super Mario Brothers theme. Now you see that there? You see the little red bit? That means the very last note in the song for this particular ESC cannot be included. So some of the songs are going to be too long, and it'll warn you that it is too big. But let's just delete the last note off of it and go ahead and see how it sounds. I'm going to click Accept. We're going to write the melody, and let's see how this Super Mario Brothers theme sounds. I mean, that was close. That was close. So this is just going to be something you're going to have to experiment with and give it a try. Uh, I also want to recommend this channel here, the Roxwolf channel. Roxwolf has awesome, awesome tunes uh, that he has for all sorts of stuff here. This is a great 
channel to subscribe to and to check out for ESC tunes. I have uh, used a few of his tunes, actually, and they're really, really good. So between ESCTunes.com and Rockswell, those are two places you want to check out if you want to get into putting music on your quad. You know, this stuff can require a lot of patience, and no matter how long you've been in the hobby, you just, you never know what's going to happen. There's always something new, always something changing. So, it's good to learn, and I'm glad that I went through this experience so I could share it with you. You, know, you leave me a comment down below of what, what you think about ESC Configurator, and if you're having any problems, uh, I would love to hear from you. Maybe you're having a similar problem with your mobulas. I can take a look at it for you. Uh, I, the last thing I would want is someone to feel like they've completely ruined their quad and they have no help. They're just in the dark here. So let me know what's going on and I'll try to help you out. I think ESC Configurator is a great site and I can't wait to see what the developers uh, continue to do with it. All right, that's it, guys. I'm going to do some flying and you guys take care.